Alright, so uh, today we're gonna, this audio, I think, I, I've actually listened to it many, many times and I thought I should upload it for you to understand what's really going on. So as I always say, it's best to listen with your earphones or headphones to get the most out of it. Not only that, it's, uh, it's about manners, you know, you just don't play your uh, phone audio in front of others. It's, it's very disrespectful. People don't say it, but well, it is what it is. Uh, as you may already know, my TikTok is on. Please check it out. The link is in the description box. And uh, wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. There is great love in here for you. Now I know how it feels to experience my own worthiness. Well, we don't disagree with you. And that's what we were saying to our friend earlier when both of them were sitting here in the chair. That's how you do it. You want something, you line up with it. It comes and you say, I did good. I did that. And when something not so good comes, you say, I did that, I did that too. <laughs> I, did that. I did that too. So you understand it's not about worthiness. It's about alignment. It's about letting it in. Yeah. Yes. I told myself that I, if I ever had the opportunity to sit before you, oh, out of time. that I would want to thank infinite intelligence for the gift of what animals mean to me. I'm in the pet industry and I've been very involved with dogs and cats all my life and in rescue and infinite intelligence has something that it has always wanted to say to you. If it had ever had the opportunity. Okay, great. You want to go first? You want infinite intelligence to go you first, first please. Everything's working out exactly as it is intended and there is nothing going wrong. And these critters come into their physical experiences for the joy of the experience and for the joy of the expansion and infinite intelligence doesn't want you to suffer on behalf of any of them because not one of them would ask that from you. You misunderstand them when you suffer. They don't pay too much attention to it, but <laughs> thank you. I really was going to talk about the joy that they bring to my life, but <laughs> <laughs> since you brought up suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But last night I was thinking about the suffering. Yeah, really? <laughs> so one time Esther was walking back in the corridor of the hotel and it was an event that they were live streaming and she would left her microphone on and she was talking to a friend as they were walking through the hallways and she had her phone with her and Tracy her daughter texted her and said mom your mics on and Esther laughed because she thought who knows what we were talking about <laughs> the milk was spilled over there and there was something over there and they were having a good time and we said to Esther your mic's always on your mic's always on if you're on your feet with your eyes open you're broadcasting to the universe your mic is always on we're just teasing you a little bit because your mic's always on thank you so what do you want to talk about one of the concepts that you teach that's changed my life is your quote you cannot beat the drum of not enoughness and claim the fortune waiting for you in vibrational escrow. Yeah, it's there for you and it's got your name all over it and nobody else is going to get it and it will eternally be there for your reclamation. But as long as you're beating the drum of not enoughness, you cannot let it in. So what of this idea of effort and struggle? Why is it that we... Because people have not remembered the leverage of alignment because what they are witnessing is the action orientation and so it's easier to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it than it is to feel it and understand it and then the next question would logically be well why would anybody put themselves in that position where they don't remember the importance of all of this and the reason is because you wanted the exposure to the contrast and you wanted to put things in your vortex and you really figured it wouldn't be too hard to figure it out 
because when you came into this physical body you felt so good you thought you would always focus in those ways but in the process of the step one which is so important so many people get focused upon what they don't want and sort of stay there and then you get sort of influenced or coaxed into letting what you see be the reason for the way you feel not able to step back and look at the big picture when you were presenting to us and you were talking about the rescue animals and you were presenting a vibration that was very clear to us and we wanted to give you the big picture and sometimes the close-up picture in physical warms your heart too but sometimes it doesn't and so you have to insulate yourself in a way that no matter what picture you are observing you have the shock absorbers of infinite intelligence flowing through you so that you understand the value of all of it not one of you said I'll go forth but before I get into my physical body clean it all because when I get there I want to be nice and clean I want everybody nice to each other I want all the governments to be working well I want prosperity to be abounding no diseases please just get it all cleaned up and then I'll go and we say you'd still be sitting with your feet dangling over the edges of some cloud somewhere because you would have never come that's not the way it is at all <laughs> you would have never come at all because you knew the value of coming into the blessed contrast that would produce within you the life-giving property of a desire that would summon and you know that there is no satisfaction that is apart from the summoning and you knew that it was set up in such a way that that would naturally happen to you you knew that contrast would cause you to ask you knew your inner being would join the asking you knew that law of attraction would respond to your inner being and you knew that that influence and that point of attraction which every bit of every bit of every bit of it includes you would be calling you to it and you knew that when you knowingly or not let yourself move in the direction of that desire that it will feel blissful that it would feel satisfying and that when you didn't it wouldn't and you figured that's guidance that will be crystal clear for me well then there were some humans that kind of turned you around on that they said come and join our club it's a religious club you'll like it <laughs> come and join it and these are the rules can't do those things and must do these things so you say oh looks fun let me in so in you go sarcasm from source is weird isn't it <laughs> so in you go and then you see some people thriving who aren't keeping the rules and other people suffering who are and you begin to ask the logical question hey what's going on I'm keeping the rules that they aren't they're thriving I'm not oh they told you well you can't tell while you're still in your body on earth you have to wait until the afterlife when you will be rewarded or punished for your behavior and so then you lost your guidance system how do I know that means this stuff that feels good is bad and this stuff that feels bad is good we're not kidding you that's how it happened so I want to be good I want so to be good so I will suffer it was an easy setup wasn't it and you know what's behind that there was no sinister plot the reason for that is simple it'd be easy for you to hear this it's easier for people to look at you right there in all of your realness and ask for your approval it's easier to believe what is already manifested than to have the faith in what's still coming and so it's like a thing that just kept eating itself so to speak the more you relied on the physical the more the physical let you down because it was never meant to be the resource it was meant to be the bouncing off place but humans made it the everything they began pigeonholing it and cataloging it and calling it right and wrong and passing it on from generation to generation then fighting with each other over their perspective of what the right and wrong even was it isn't even possible to sort out rightness from wrongness on a collective basis it is only possible to sort out the wanted from the unwanted what's in the vortex and am I moving toward it or not it is not possible for one person to ever accurately understand what anybody else's point of attraction even is but because they're so vivid and they're so real and you can see them and hear and smell and taste them and touch them you want their approval you want them to understand you you want to be understood by them and you're willing to conform until you are understood 
and what happens with so many we're going to say something very powerful and profound and for the first time for most people being understood by someone simply means I will accomplish the same vibration that you've got going on so we'll be so much on the same wavelength we'll get each other and since you're not thriving then I won't either and since you're not nice I won't be either and since you are judgmental then I will be too and since you have hatred in your heart then I will too and the further you got from who you were who you really are the less equipped you were to find your own alignment oh but then your inner being still guided you toward it things kept happening an animal would come into your experience all kinds of things would happen and you'd have these glimpses of joy and glimpses of connection and glimpses of freedom and these respites of knowing who you are that refreshing satisfying moments of connection just kind of accidentally stumbling into them sometimes many of you had the good fortune of that being fostered in you by those who had figured it out before you got there but most no most of you really wanted to figure it out on your own because words don't teach and so most of you were willing to have some of those kinds of experiences until you say wait a minute wait a minute I know I am a joyful being I prefer to be joyful than sad I and I prefer to love than hate and so once that comes around then you're ready for someone like us to sort of explain to you how it works yes yes I grew up in that home that you just described that bueno. right wrong that strong fundamentalist bueno. uh, you know my family thought Jerry Falwell was liberal so that strong <laughs> fundamentalist right wrong punishment heaven hell and this, all right. is this thought system it's all right because we're not pushing against that we're just answering your question your sense of self is expanded when you move in the direction of self and your sense of self is diminished when you move in the direction of anyone else it is really that simple